What's going on guys and welcome to the Buckeye Studios last minute Halloween video. So I was at work today and I was just thinking man I really want to make a Halloween video but I have like literally no time to do it because Halloween's almost over but I decided to do one anyway so here's what we're doing. So back during the summer of 2018 we filmed a sequel to the Saw movie that I made on my channel like a long time ago but we never finished it. But before I say anything else about it I want to give a quick really big thanks to the people who um, provided us the location. Thanks so much to Joan and Dickie for letting us use your barn location for this movie because the aesthetic was the only good part about this movie. Now what I want to do is I want to release what I have in this short film. But here's the thing of course, it's really bad. And like I said before, unfinished. So here and there at certain points I'm gonna stop in and just kind of explain what's going on because literally it makes no sense at certain points. Here we go. So we're off to an okay start, I guess. <laughs> what was supposed to fill that empty space where there's no dialogue was the new Jigsaw Killer's voice talking to my character. It was a super long exposition dump, pretty much just explaining what happened between the last movie and this one. Jigsaw was talking about how, if you remember from the last movie, how I killed Peter. And that was because he was the original person that trapped me and was the Jigsaw Killer. And in the time since then, my character got really depressed over killing Peter and I ended up cutting myself. So what Saw was going to do was he was going to give me a choice. In a minute and a half, the door that has that guy in there who is a cannibal <laughs> will open up. So my choice is I either let myself get eaten and die or I have to find the key to the handcuffs and escape. The thing is, the key to the handcuffs was put inside my arm, like inside one of the reopened cuts. So like I said, either I get eaten or I have to dig inside my arm to find the key in a minute and a half to escape. That's my choice. No, I'm done with these stupid tests! So 
So right here, Jigsaw is saying that I passed my first test, but that's not all. My next test is that I just have to find a way to escape that room in six minutes or the cannibal will get out and escape and eat me or something. <laughs> Now this, this is so stupid. <laughs> Something that I haven't mentioned yet is that all throughout the film, my character has been seeing Peter in my imagination and he's been like visiting me from beyond the grave or something. There was more to this movie besides the barn stuff. This is just all that we filmed. There was like other scenes with different characters and other people reacting to Peter dying and all my like depression scenes, so stupid. So Peter visited me like three other times in the movie besides this and now he's visiting me again. Go away! Why are you haunting me? Just leave me alone, I'm begging you! Just let it happen. You'll find your way home. And let him come out and what? Eat me? What are you looking at? So now... <laughs> This is so unclear, it makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense what Peter is trying to tell me here or trying to say, so I'm gonna do my best to explain it. Peter is basically saying to let that cannibal out and for me to fight him using that knife that I had earlier. I don't even wanna go into how that doesn't make a single bit of sense, but at least now you know what's happening, kind of. <laughs> Just let it happen. You'll find your way home. And let him come out and what, eat me? What are you looking at? Come on! All right, go. So, long story here. <laughs> what happened was, the guy that I wanted to originally play the cannibal wasn't available for that day. So I, of course, just ended up having Peter play that role instead. And now he's on top of me. And it looks like we're having sex. I'm just gonna let the rest of this play out and I'll stop talking now. <laughs> You'll find your way home. Yes! That's it. That's the thing that we did, the horror short film that I was talking about a long time ago. That, that's it. That's, we never finished it and I'm never going to, but I'm just going to release what we have here because it's spooky day and I want to do something. <laughs> Sorry if this video seems really unorganized, that's because it is. And like I said, I had no time to do this because I wanted to do a Halloween video today and Halloween's almost over. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I sure didn't because it's awful <laughs> and um, 
I mean, it was the first thing that we filmed that looks nice, which is cool, but besides that, there's not much to it. Again, a big thanks to Joan and Dicky for letting us use their barn location because, like I said, the movie looks really nice and it's a way more believable location than my garage, which I'm glad I stopped using. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, I already said that. And I'll see you guys later.